4J parents are divided when it comes to getting kids back in schools. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jay Wan Jung. This comes as Oregon is experiencing a new COVID surge, but parents are sitting on both ends of the issue with some worried about their kids' health and others saying the risks of online learning are worse. KZI 9 News reporter Gray Smith spoke to 4J parents today to hear from both sides of the argument. I have no doubt that it's not going to do a thing. That's 4J parent Jarl Berg. He's talking about the petition he signed that supports a delay in 4J schools fully reopening. But it hopefully at least gives the, the leadership a moment of pause and going, are we really doing the right thing? The organizers of the petition say the Delta variant and the rising case numbers are the reason why they're asking for the delay. This is not politics. This is in the end, this is about keeping people safe and healthy and keep things moving forward. So this is the petition that supports a delay in returning back to the classroom. And as you can see, it has over 900 signatures. But this is the petition that supports returning back to the classroom on time and in person. And it has over 250 signatures. For those wanting an on-time return, they say the lack of proper education poses a bigger risk to the students. We asked users on Facebook what they think about 4J schools reopening and the reactions were mixed. One user named Rochelle said, yeah, I totally agree with keeping kids home until cases go down. Right now, they are too high and too scary. Another user named Kelly said, enough is enough. You have the choice to homeschool your child or find an alternative option that suits your family. My kids deserve to be back in school. Berg tells me at least until we get through this most recent surge or children under 12 are eligible for the shot, students shouldn't be back in classrooms just yet. There's a lot of ways to look at this whole issue, no question. Um, but in the end, we got to look at the basics and just watch the numbers. And right now, the numbers are saying we're not in a good place. As for now, the first day of classes for all 4J grades is September 10th. I reached out to 4J to ask what they thought about the recent petitions, but have not heard back. Reporting in Eugene Grace Smith, KEZI 9 News.